We are live. We are live. We are here. And and this is going to be one of my uh, favourite sessions. Andrew, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired. But uh, do you know what? The, the, the soothing... Uh, the so well, it was quite a soothing experience to talk to Matt. But this is the soothingness is going to continue because watching you draw is 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 very nice <laughs> so you're going to be drawing for us uh today we've got andrew swainson um and uh he's going to be doing some some drawing of a dinosaur um and uh and we're going to chat about um and we're going to chat about your well, your career and your, your posters and your art and, and some of the stuff that you've got coming out well, that's out now that you've that you've just released for Amp Jam, and um, and various other bits and bobs. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about about your you know what you do as as an artist because it's it's you know both posters and you know and some illustration work and stuff and and we'll get up um, and we'll get up a poster of yours. We're going to put up um, we're going to put up your poster for Jojo Rabbit, which is which is currently in the works print wise printing wise is that right that's correct yes yeah um I, everything has with everything else been delayed with the covid business but uh, uh it's it's at the printer and has been for uh, well, quite a few months now but uh, you know it, it'll it'll happen when it happens i guess and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing it i wasn't really expect it was one of those uh, situations where um I just did the work anyway, and uh, I just out of you know enjoying uh, enjoying the film so much. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's it, feelings mutual on this film. It's um it's an incredible an incredible piece of filmmaking, um, and um, so if you obviously it's the it's is it both uh, Taika Waititi and he who must not be named amalgamated there, or is it just Taika or? Uh, it is just Taika. It is just. I didn't Tyker. think it. I, I really didn't think it was um, a good idea to uh, <laughs> have, have that guy. <laughs> yeah, the real, the real chap on the there. real I McCoy. Really, yeah, I, yeah. I, I kind of thought that would really um, muddy the waters too much. We've uh, just so you know, we've got we've got a few familiar faces in uh, already. We've got uh, Tom Chester's is here. Um, never heard of him. Never heard of him. No, no. Um, we've got Tom, Tom Chester's. We've got we, yes, we do know Tom. We we both know Tom. Um, <laughs> so Key, who's just off screen, is the person monitoring. Who's uh, who's is the person uh, sorting out all the uh, all the live streaming work. Um, she was here yesterday, um, predominantly off camera, but she was seen for a little while uh, during the quiz. Um, that quiz was something to behold. It's something you were, took part in, in fact. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. It was uh, it was good fun. Um, yeah, it was very entertaining. I think the the quiz became uh, secondary to the uh, on screen entertainment. I think. Yes, I I, I didn't quite uh, anticipate just I, well. I thought they would be funny, and I knew that they'd come up with some clever rounds, like some some rounds that were sort of endearing or comical and whatever. That singing round was obviously awful, but the um, but like you know having their kids draw pictures and stuff, you know, for example. Yeah, that was, was great. Was great. Yeah, that was really good. Um. But um, yeah, and and well, your your own comments uh, were added to the to, to be fair to in our in our in our view, your own comments added to the to the comic value of it all. Um, so uh, so yeah, um, right. So paddle your own canoe, Ben. So there's all sorts of comments going in. They 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 talk to each other, but that is the point part of the point of this convention is that yes. um, that that socialising is a really important thing. Uh, in conventions well, to me and and otherwise it's just it's you know and otherwise if we didn't get some of this sort of stuff happening this would just be us it would just be a day of live streaming and and you might say well it is just a day of live streaming but it's meant to be a little bit more than that yeah i think I, with with all the cons being cancelled this year it's one of the things i really really missed is uh, uh meeting up with people and you know the other guys in poster posse when we've been off doing you know, like the mcm comic cons and stuff um yeah it's been uh you know, I don't get out much, so you know the opportunity to uh, be off for you know a weekend or two uh, throughout the year to uh, you know meet up with uh, 
like-minded people. It's uh, you know, it's one of the things I've missed about uh, about the uh, you know the pandemic situation. And hopefully, some some of that some of that stuff is is here in this. As I say, there's people having exchanges, but also that quiz had a good, a good. Well, I felt I'm not trying to toot my own horn because I didn't run the quiz. I didn't run the quiz. It was them doing it. But but I, I think having two of them together because there was that you know interchange. They were socialising, and so it just brought people in. I think they were a very good double act. Yeah, uh, Chris Thornley's in the house. Raid 71 is here. Love his Kong Skull Island. Yeah, that is an incredible piece. Better than the film. Oh, thank you. No, I, I, I like the film. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was I'm not okay. saying I'm not saying that the film is terrible. I'm saying that you are better than the film. That your piece well, is better than the film. Because it's a very good piece. But we've, got, we've also got Dolly in as well. Dolly's <laughs> in the house too. And we've got Dolly coming up. I've missed our chats from behind a con table. He's, he's, he's pining for you. Oh, bless. I think I miss you too, son. <laughs> you could bring a tear to my eye. Um, you, uh, <laughs> I think I'm you're... Choking. I, I, we won't. We won't. Film is good. Chris Thornley disagrees with me. I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying that his post is very, very good. Um, uh, there was uh, socialising at the quiz. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was a lot of it in the comments. It was. It was. Uh, it was a massacre. Um, so. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, clearly you're someone who's getting you, you, uh, having, you know, you've got your peers coming in here. So, so you're someone who's, who's uh, much loved within the artist community, it seems, um, because I say you, you've got some of your uh, much, some of much your, tolerated, I think, is some what of I'd you, say. Mu- much tolerated. Yeah. <laughs> um, someone is mentioning your witch poster, so I think we'll get that up. Um, okay. It, uh, yeah, Melbs. Um, uh, where are you from, Melbs? Let us know. Um, not Melbourne, presumably. Um, but um, your your witch poster, uh, spot That'll on, be... um, and it get, it's it's quite a different style to to the to the to the uh, to JoJo. Um, very sort of uh, detailed. Was it originally a pencil? Uh, no, no, it was all digital from from the get go. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it kind of looks like it would have been a pencil drawing but uh, i'm not that good with pencils so it's um uh yeah i i you know i we discussed this a little bit the other day is about how i can't seem to get a a consistent style going and so i don't really try anymore i just um i just sort of embrace that everything Everything looks different in my head. It doesn't look like uh, something that I would do, if you know what I mean. Um, so I, ju- I just do what I, I just do what I feel I want to do for each separate project, you know. So everything's sure. uh, got quite a different look to it usually. Um, Chris Thornley has come in and said again, uh, as, as having said, you, you know, I said much loved, and you said you said much tolerated. He says very much admired. So, um, well, thank you. So there we have my it. My blushing. The Chris Thornley going definitive on on how much you are loved. Uh, Chris <laughs> Malbin from UK in post to posse two. It's Chris Malbin. Yes, yes, Chris Malbin. Yeah. Malbin, sorry. Um, so um, we'll um, should we get into some sketching and then and then we can come back to some chat. Would you like to do? Would uh, you yeah, like to do? Well, well, we, we'll, we'll chat a little bit during this. We'll, be well. we'll chat a little bit during, but um, but uh, yeah. I think we'll we'll move to, uh, to 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 seeing you draw a dinosaur. And okay, honestly, so we let's... we watch this in rehearsal. I'm going to talk while you giving you some time to to adjust. Um, yeah. So he has to mount his uh, phone to a tripod whilst uh, in order to show us this properly and make sure that he is the right way up. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so basically, we tried this in a rehearsal, and Key and I watched it, and honestly, it was just so. Oh, he's already dr- he's just showing, he's, so he's already done that. He's he's he, he's he's practiced this. He's uh, he's coming. He, he'll be there. He'll be there. Um, uh, presumably, you can all still hear me. Um, can you he, see that? Uh, currently, no. Uh, no, I can't see that. No, I think you might have turned off the uh, the, the filming function. Um, right. Hang on a this is this is the uh, virtue of live streaming. Um, but uh, it, it, he'll be there. Um, here, there he is. Sorry. So he's going to he's going to redraw. You're going to draw one of these again, are you? 
Well, now I'm going to do a different one, but I just thought. Okay. Just start wow. With, um, we we were not expecting that. Is that is that what you started when you were drawing? That's what I started the other day when we were doing the rehearsal. Blimey, so. it did not look like that when we finished because we we did a we did a little test of like maybe like ten minutes of this, maybe five five or ten minutes just to to uh, to test it out and and. I would like to buy that from you, Andrew. Um, well, you know, actually, my son has asked if he can have it. So. Oh, no. Too late, so mate. So close. So <laughs> close. Okay, fine. That's fine. You can fight him for it. That is, I can pay him for it. Um, <laughs> just put him in touch. I'll pay pal him. I'll pay pal him. Um, anyway, uh, this, this is, that is gorgeous. Um, I, because you, you know, obviously we, we, we uh, well, yeah, that's beautiful. Um, so, man, dude, this just, it's just so good. We, we, that like really took us by surprise this? because it's just because it goes uh, a, a step further than we were than uh, than the um, just the level of uh, you know the, the amount of time spent on it. Uh, how long did that take you? Um, well, I've I've been sort of scribbling on it on and off since was it Thursday or Friday night we did the rehearsal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long I, I didn't really. I know I only intended it to be like one of those quick scribbles that I put on a tube or a yeah. uh, parcel going somewhere, but I, I, I think I got a bit more into it than I would normally. So it's it's gone beyond what I what I intended originally. But uh, okay, uh, so are, are, you, are you ready to to to, to do some drawing yeah, for us? Is the lighting okay on this? The lighting is good for me, and it's the right way up, which is a plus. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to if you can. Uh, you're gonna to have to. I, I'll use you as the broker, but I will if if he's gunning for that. Your your son's gunning for that drawing. I will. Um, I will <laughs> offer him uh, remuneration for that. Well, maybe maybe today we'll. Uh, you, maybe you can have this one. Okay, so enjoy, guys, as we do this. It would be great to have some. If I can, if you can show me the comments key um, as as it's going up. Um, and I can, and I'll, and I'll filter. If people want to ask questions during this, um, uh, then I will filter them to, um, I will filter them to, to, to Andrew. Um, but yeah, enjoy, guys. Uh, people are saying, "Gimme." Yeah, people want it. I, I, I really want it too. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's really gorgeous. We're, we're part of this. This, this whole convention is effectively uh, an, an attempt to establish Andrew Swainson as the dinosaur guy. It's all just a big ruse. It's all yes. It's an it's an elaborate ruse. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm not really going to talk through the actual. No, no, is, that's fine. Is it just just for reference, is this sort of? Yeah, that's looking fine for me. Is that in? Yeah. In shot. Okay. Good. So yeah, I'm not going to do a uh, Bob Ross and uh, yeah narrate my. Uh, scribblings someone saying i can see it he's tracing mm. <laughs> no I've, i have already i have already put down a um, he's done a preliminary uh, fine sketch he is not tracing yeah. uh he doesn't need to trace because he's good at doing this i'm joking i'm joking tracing is yeah fun. you 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 are joking because you know i, I am joking <laughs> um Happy little trees, yes. There's, there's, yes. Happy little trees. Gotta love Bob Ross. That's another thing that's incredibly soothing to watch. Um, so, uh, when did you? Obviously, we're both fans of Jurassic Park. Uh, probably, possibly me more, a little bit more than you, um, because you actually, you, whilst you love it, you actually don't think it's very good. <laughs> Is that yeah, right? That's, that's, that's kind of right. I mean, I, I, I think the dinosaurs are great. Even now, I think the special effects hold up, but I just think the human characters there are uh, kind of um, very thinly drawn, you know. So I don't, uh, I don't rate it as a movie entirely. I do love it, but you know, the same way as I love Independence Day, you know. So it's I, I, Jurassic Park is better than Independence Day. Well, you know. Maybe we'll talk about that another time. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people in the comments, feel free to tell me which one's better, uh, Jurassic Park or Independence Day. Yeah, come Day. on, let's have a... <clears throat> um, so, if, is, I mean, obviously you, you've 
drawn quite a lot of dinosaurs lately but is it something that you've had you is have you drawn dinosaurs a lot in the past or is it just something you're like oh i'll start drawing dinosaurs um well you know i used to draw dinosaurs as a kid all the time and um uh that you know whatever it is because i you know it's not unusual that children sort of get into you know obsessed with dinosaurs and you know i was uh, you know my son was um but you know i don't i don't, don't really think that that sort of obsession has really ever properly left me you know i think it's uh, it's that th- i think we it's like it's not we're into dinosaurs we're not into into it's like not jurassic park i mean i i, I do love jurassic park but you know dinosaurs were a real thing it's not it's not dinosaurs not a, it's not a kid thing it's an everybody uh, thing <laughs> Well, I, I, yeah, I hope it's not a kid thing. Otherwise, <laughs> it makes me very sad at my age. But um, no, I mean dinosaurs. I think they're just really, they're really fascinating. We don't know everything about them, and you know, depending on where you stand. I mean, they, you know, they, but I think that the fact that they were real uh, and once roamed the, you know roamed the earth is um you know i think that's what gives them a, an extra interest over say sort of you know mythical beasts and stuff even though they're they're sort of fairly fan, uh, fascinating on the, in their own terms but as i think with dinosaurs i think there's um you feel like there's some sort of tangible connection to uh uh you know our own existence i think yeah it's like <laughs> It's a bit deep, wasn't it? That was Jurassic deep. Park. That was oh, deep. We'll, we'll we'll come. We'll we'll. I won't. I'll <laughs> make sure that this conversation isn't isn't just completely do- dinosaurs. However, Tom Chester has asked me how many times have you asked Andrew about doing a full on Jurassic Park poster? I have brought it up a couple of times in conversation. Um, I don't know who's watching this, but I would love to see a, a Andrew Swainson Jurassic Park poster. As you see from these dinosaurs, it is something that he would nail. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, but um, yeah so uh, can we do a lottery or something to win this sketch cheeky ask I know but worth a shot Um, Uh, I guess we might be able to I don't know what do you think I mean, I sort of want it. Uh, but I know you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, but um, yeah, well, we'll look at, we'll, we'll have a chat. Me and, me and uh, Andrew will have a chat um, in the coming weeks. There's going to be a lot of other stuff coming from, from Amp Jam over the weeks, months, years, hopefully. And um, we'll have a chat about, about, you know, possibly this sketch or another, or, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll look at, um, at what we can do. We, we're... I'm keen, and, and and you know whether or not it happens, I don't, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, people are thinking a charity lottery. Yes, we'll 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 take a look into it. Um, I'm keen to 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 do a series of you drawing dinosaurs, for, like a YouTube video series of you drawing. Um, but um, so uh, posters isn't isn't your only sort of. Whilst you are a, a designer, you know, whilst you do you're an artist and designer, posters aren't isn't your only thing, right? Um, uh, no, it's not. No, I mean, you know, I, I sort of most of my career I spent um, working sort of uh, in the music industry. Sort of designing, you know, sleeves and other related stuff for um, for bands and what have you. Uh, nothing like, well, you know, I've enjoyed doing it, but I, I, you know, I've, I've not. You know, I, it's not like I can reel off a, a long list of, uh, you know, well-known names that I've done it for. But you know, um, I've done some good. I've done some good bands like Echo and the Bunny Man and um, uh, oh wow. Uh, who else have I done? Kitchens of Distinction I did a long long time ago. I mean they're a great band. Um, uh, and also in my former life as uh, being actually employed by a company. I used to do a lot of stuff for uh, you know quite big names like ACDC and uh, <coughs> Cliff Richard. Um, <laughs> um, hey don't diss the, don't diss the Cliff. Uh, wow. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a Cliff Richard fan, but my mum, one of my mum's claims to fame is that she once uh, did backing vocals for him. Uh, <laughs> she used to be do professional singing and, and, and violin playing. Anyway, um, 
But yeah, and also you've got a connection with the band XTC. Uh, I'm going to get this. This is going to be known by everyone. Um, one, well, two, yeah, three, I mean, four, five been... senses working overtime. I've, I've been working with the, the band and, and particularly Andy Partridge for well, the last sort of 20 years or so. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just been, uh, yeah, I was just in the right place at the right time and we got together and we've been sort of, you know, happy to work with each other ever since. I say work with each other. I mean, obviously I work for him, so... Um, but you know, he's uh, we sort of built up a you know a rapport and a, a friendship, I guess. And um, you know, he's um, uh, he you know beyond XTC, he's done lots of uh, other projects and you know released lots of his other music and stuff. So um, you know, I've, I've worked with you know on, on he's he's quite a what's the word? He's a bit of a polymath, I guess. So okay. he's got a massive range when it comes to music um, from, you know, really bizarre abstract electronica to, you know, really, I don't know, you can't describe it any of, any better than just like perfect pop music, you know, so. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty extraordinary songwriting. Um, so I just wanted to talk about your, uh, the, the different styles that you have, because the, the Halloween poster, which is, an incredibly clever concept um, with the, you know, with uh, with Mike standing at the doorway and 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 his shadow casting a, a, a huge knife, which dominates the entire, <laughs> almost the entire poster, uh, is is very sort of minimalist and and but sort of ele- but has its elegance um, and and stuff. But then you've got something like. Uh, you got something like the witch, where it's where it's where the focus is on a very detailed portrait. Um, and do you do you see yourself as someone who has multiple styles, or do you approach each poster uh, just as is, you know, whatever you, what, however you feel, and it's all just you, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't. Um, you know, like I said before, I don't. I, I don't think I. I don't feel like I've I've got multiple styles. I feel like I've got I've got whatever style I feel like the piece requires. Mm-hmm. Not that I not that I'm sort of multi skilled in doing lots of different types of things, but um, you know, I, just trying to sort of get um, I I can't. I'm, it's really difficult to describe. It's like when I it's like when. When I see when I or when I when I'm given a brief or uh, asked to you know do something, I it um, I sort of just get an idea in my head and then I, I just try and uh, I just try and chase that you know mm-hmm. it's um, but you know the ideas don't come as uh, oh that's Andrew Swainson's style I must I must try and uh, <laughs> shoehorn my style into it it's yeah. it's like well what would be what would be a good poster for that? What would, um, and it's always just, you know, in the same way that you, people generally don't like one type of music. You know, you, I, I can't really sort of get into doing one style of uh, illustration, really. I, I have tried, I really have, but um, it just <laughs> uh, eludes me somehow. And I'm not sure whether that's a failing or a strength or what, but uh, it just sort of, uh, it's how it is. So I don't really, like I said before, I don't really fight it anymore. I just, uh, I just let it, uh, let it happen. <laughs> um, and um, your your sketches are something that that uh, your sketches are something that gets a lot of love in the in the sort of in the Facebook groups, uh, and, and you seem to be quite prolific with it. Obviously, you do these uh, people people who haven't ordered a poster from Andrew before. Um, firstly, what are you playing at? And secondly, um, he uh, he has uh, one of his sort of trademark things is to sketch on the packaging that you receive your print in i say this now and you're all going to go order prints from him and he's going to be uh unable to fulfill that many sketches in in a short period of time uh but uh yeah it's uh, i guess 
firstly, what where did that sort of that you know sketching on packaging for 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 when did it start? Why did it start? And also is do you always sort of have a pencil in your hand? Is it always something that you you know I, you know do you have this impulse, this constant impulse to to draw, or is it or is it not as 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 it would sort of seem from let's say how prolific you are posting up sketches on on social media? Well, I think it it I think I started drawing on the tubes. No, this is not like it's a bit. I'm, it, I you know. This is not a thing, I don't think. I think it's just, you know, I do do it occasionally, but um, I don't do it all the time. I, you know, the one thing that dictates whether there'll be a sketch on the uh, on the tube or the packaging is usually whether I've missed the post or not. If I've missed the post, <laughs> if I've missed. If I've missed the post, then I feel like oh, sorry. I really well, don't. Some, I, I, there's no rush to get this out. I'll, um, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll maybe apologise by adding a little uh, extra to the tube. I, th- I think the first ones I was doing is when I did my uh, my jaws print, and I was sending those out. And I, I, mean, I adorned most of the uh, most of the tubes with you know this sketch on the chalkboard that Quint drags his. Uh, n- fingernails down all oh, right okay yeah uh i you know i adorned most of those um tubes with uh with that sketch you know just the just the chalk outline of the shark um there's just a little thing and then occasionally you know other things sort of uh pop up and i'll try and uh, i'll try and put oof, i'll try and put um something appropriate on the uh, on the tube uh, you know uh, you know appropriate for the content is um i had to stifle my laugh when you said that it depends on whether you've missed the post or not well uh, you know it's so it's, it feels it also feels like such a british thing to say it depends whether <laughs> <laughs> um uh, apparently, uh, tom chester says uh gareth Tell Andrew to stop doing packaging sketches so close to the address because it makes them harder to f- <laughs> because it makes them harder to frame. Yet yeah, because sometimes I, I, I think you 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 don't sort of uh, you say it's something you just sort of do, and perhaps not necessarily out of boredom, but uh, well, might as well. And um, and uh, I, like, from me personally, receiving receiving that it it was it took me aback. But you know when. Um, when I received the, the the sketch of a Brachiosaurus's face on, on on it, I was like, "That that has to go in a frame." It was it was too precious to to uh, to, to throw away. So yes, please stop putting the nice sketches so close uh, to the address. Please buy from from his store in order to get a, to in order to get a sketch from him. Um, Stacy Langdown says, "Just saw the new Evil Dead print in the shop yesterday. I need to pick that up." Yes, we're going to get to that. Well, well, we'll tell you now, and then we'll show you it in a bit. Um, but yes, you've uh, this was actually born from a, a sketch that you'd done by hand. Um, you've got two versions of a um, of an Evil Dead uh, sketch you did, um, which uh, depicts uh, Ash screaming, right? Yes, that's uh, correct. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, somebody, I did. When, when the um, when the COVID thing kicked off, and then I had a, uh, I had one job sort of, uh, well, initially I think it was postponed, but he, 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 I think ultimately it's been cancelled. I haven't actually heard definitively whether that is or not. But, uh, the, uh, the movie were, that I was going to be working on is, um, it's 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 I believe it's going to Netflix now. So I'm assuming that that's uh, that's all gone. So yeah, I just as a way of uh, you know, you know, keeping some money coming in, I, I put a load of uh, you know, um, I put myself available for sketches as well. So, um, and people are going to want them more right now. If you if people who are who are ISO uh, a, a sketch session, put your put your names in the comments, and then I'll let you know, Andrew, just how many people want to want a piece of your original work. Um, the uh, <coughs> 
Stace Langdon also says, are there any plans to do the others? Because it was a, it was a set of three, the Evil Dead sketches. Um, I suppose that depends on just how many people buy his first one. Um, uh, it does entirely, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I'd... Um... Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I did the. Uh, I did. You know, the three Evil Dead movies for uh, uh, for Bruce Knight and um, was him, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope I'm not getting that wrong. I think it was. And <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the the response to the uh, the three sketches was was uh, was really good. So. Um, and you know, a couple of people said, "Oh, you're going to do prints of these," and I think maybe they thought maybe prints of the actual sketch, you know. So, uh, but I don't know. I just sort of thought, well, I don't know. I think this would work really quite nicely as a little screen print, and you know, that sort of doing it in a round frame and stuff would make it a little bit different to uh, what I've done before and whatever you know, and what what was out there already. So uh, I figured I'd. Um, I try and uh, uh, do it, and uh, I'll get it screen printed. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pop the the uh, link to um, to Andrew Swainson's store in the comments. There it goes, um, and uh, and you'll see the the uh, Evil Dead print we're talking about. But we will get that up on screen. Um, this is looking stunning, by the way. Um, uh, I'm through. terribly happy with it at the minute, to be honest. <laughs> Are you ever terribly happy with it? <laughs> um, do you have that? I suppose that's a good question. Do you? Are you? Are you not necessarily not not necessarily self-critical? But are you very? Um, do you? Ha is, is there like a? In terms of being, are you a massive perfectionist? I suppose is the question. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't feel like I am, but you know. The, the, do end up being sort of fairly dissatisfied with you know some of my own work, which is I I guess I, I I feel like that's a good thing though you know I don't I don't if you sit back and go oh yeah that's great um, uh, there's not too many of my pieces of work that I think are, oh yeah that's good I, 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 I mean to be honest there's not too many pieces of my work that I go back and think oh well what, what could I have done better but. Uh, I don't know. I think if you, if you if you sort of just um, leave things, if you know, oh god, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. If you, uh, if you just if leave he... it, then you're not really uh, you're not going to move on anywhere. You know, if you if you're sort of just happy with how one thing's turned out, mm, it's not really. Bembo has uh, uh, has added to the uh, to the debate as to whether or not you're a a perfectionist because apparently you did uh an, a sketch of a christmas bauble at thought bubble um uh one year and then yeah. took it upon yourself to send him a better version uh later on to replace yes, it yes that is true that is true so yeah maybe i am then <laughs> scrap everything i said um yeah. Just so you know, guys, on 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 uh, Andrew Swainson's uh, on Andrew Swainson's website, you'll see that uh, those two prints that he's released for Amp Jam, there is also the service of a of a um, well, I suppose we might call it a remark, but it's 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 labelled as a sketch. Uh, it, it, what, I don't know how you would classify it yourself, but uh, as you can see, his 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 drawing is 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 super cool. So you can have both a print of of that original. Um, that original sketch and a sketch in your own in its own right on one piece um so do they have to order both items is that how it works uh yeah i thought it was easier to do it as two separate items sure. rather than uh, so yeah if, if anybody wants it and wants to have a sketch added to the uh, to the print they can uh, they can uh, purchase that separately and have you added any other items to your store this uh, this weekend um, you know, actually, beyond Evil Dead, no, I haven't. No. Okay. Um, That's fine. Um, Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, there's 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 all sorts of, uh, of of stuff coming in. People, if if, if you've got questions for for Andrew, uh, as we just so you know, we're at the we're at uh, we're at the 36 minute mark. 
um, past the hour. Um, Andrew, just so you know, uh, you well, don't have. You obviously you don't have to finish. You don't have to finish. You it. I'm just letting you know. Up. But but no, no, I don't want you to speed up. I'm just letting you know what, where where we're at. Um, <laughs> but um, no, I was just saying that uh, I, I suppose it'll be cool to to go to see you know where we start and then and then for for we'll we'll post on our social media where you finish up if you want to finish the sketch. Obviously, people are interested in in some kind of uh, of way of sort of um, of sort of. Uh, somebody wants it it's very unfortunate now bembo for example suggested that we auction it off and then and then help fund the next um amp jam the only problem with that is uh well there are multiple possibly multiple problems with that but one of them would be that i would want to bid on it so in turn i'm really only paying for my own uh my own convention um which is what i've done so far but anyway um uh so uh yeah but any questions uh get them get them in um and uh, also on on your uh, your Evil Dead piece, the um, you, your variant is is on wood, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on a it's on a wooden panel with um, a beach veneer. It's very fitting. Um, we we will show both of those, but as they they are in the in the link that I've put in the in the comments. Um, yeah, I wanted. To, I was hoping for ash veneer, but ash is too dark a wood. So. That would that would be a good pun. For sure. Yes, it would. Well, yes. I, I do love a good pun. Do you, do you have, seem to have quite a, a I mean, a, a good sense of humour? Do, do you, it, but I haven't seen you do, like, I mean, uh, perhaps the pin, you know, I think maybe, uh, you know, some other illustration work, but in terms of a print, not necessarily something that, that I haven't seen anything that sort of links to, like, a comedy. Would you, would you be keen in doing something that was funny, um, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I mean, I I don't really, uh, yeah, I don't really have a sort of sort of things that yeah, you know, a type of sort of uh, project that I would uh, that I wouldn't want to tackle. If you know what I mean, I think even if it's something I'm not terribly interested in or, or haven't that you know hadn't pre previously known too much about i mean i think when i did that um, maltese falcon commission for uh, darren a few years ago i mean i hadn't seen the movie then i mean even, even though it's a classic but uh doesn't mean that i won't enjoy it if you know what i mean james I think, oh sorry go ahead i think doing you know doing a comedy uh uh, doing a comedy print probably no different to doing uh, any other type of uh, print. Yeah. Um, James Hobson asks, "What's your favourite dinosaur?" My favourite dinosaur. Ooh. That's a good question, or is it really? It's a good question for when you're seven, maybe. Uh, Key, um. Key just said, <laughs> Key just whispered, because uh, she's, so she's, uh, what, I don't know, she's like besotted with, with the screen watching you sketch, because um, we, we've got lots of screens set up here in, in Amp Jam HQ, and she says it's just coming to life, uh, is what she just said. Um, I think it's because you started to add some sort of uh, the darker spots within the within the face. I think there was at that moment that she started, she said that you were bringing things to life. Um Johnny yeah. W, I'd go for a kingpin commission. Oh right, okay. Um, there are lots of other comments, but uh, but uh, some of them are uh, referencing the quiz. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please get your questions in. Also, we, we, we can uh, probably go another five or ten minutes um, uh, with this. Um, and uh, he's Andrew's doing a, an incredible job here. Um, I feel like a sports commentator, but you're drawing. It's a bit weird, isn't it? In fact, he's doing an incredible job here. Oh, and he's bringing the print to life. <laughs> oh. um, I'm trying to laugh, laugh very softly because I feel like this is, a, I mean, we, we find it quite a soothing experience to watch. I don't know how, how, about other people, but it's quite, a, it's quite a pleasant watch. And I didn't like when you said earlier about missing the, about missing the post, I, I could have burst out in hysterics, but um, I tried to keep it a bit quiet. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, 
that generally uh, triceratops i would say was my go-to answer I'm sorry, triceratops sorry, just to, uh, just to uh, get back to james's question on, on the I ground didn't mean to belittle him by uh, the school, the school grand comment. Ian, uh, so uh, Stacey and Ian uh, both uh, putting up votes for Ankylosaurus. Um, I mean, be, feel free to put your own, to, to comment your own favourite dinosaur. I mean, you know, some strong strong suggestions. My, uh, I mean, my favourite varies really, but um, you know, if we're talking about my favourite dinosaur in Jurassic Park, it would be a Dilophosaurus, but otherwise it would be a T Rex, um, because the Dilophosaurus isn't really a it's not the proper, it's not as, as a Dilophosaurus probably actually was, you know, you don't know if it's spat venom and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, comment some, uh, comment some questions and yes, let us know what your favourite dinosaurs are. Dinosaurs are. Um, <clears throat> so have you got any, um, any projects coming up, uh, Andrew, that you can speak about or? Well, uh, post posse have got a few things coming up. I can't, I can't really talk about them. Sure. So, but they've got um, they've got some interesting stuff happening in the future, which is good. And um, they've also got um, you know they've got they've got some some uh, special things happening in uh, October, which uh, I'm sure will be uh, revealed. I think, I think it was teased. Very I, soon. I think it was teased think, yesterday. Yeah, I think Tom teased a little bit of it yesterday. But, yes, this uh, is uh, yeah, the, the, Posse Palooza. Things that, uh, I think uh, was it was a name that was it was mentioned and it was cleared by Dolly to say it. So I can say Posse that, Palooza. Sorry? Posse Palooza is that it? Oh right, okay. Um, uh, he so the name was uh, the name was mentioned. Yes, um, I think people are starting to try. Like I think Stephen Sutcliffe coming in with a dinosaur name here, guessing that I might not be able to say it. Pachycephalosaurus. So don't don't try me. <laughs> Uh, somebody came in with uh, when the team names in the quiz yesterday with um, Flocky Nocky Nilly Hilly Pilification. And yes, I can say it. Um, but I can't say that place in uh, that place in uh, Wales. Um, oh, yeah. My mum can uh, because can we're Welsh. You can say the abbreviated version. You can say the abbreviated version. What's that? Yeah. I think it's just Lanfair, isn't it? Lanfair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it just ends in Gogogog. Um so um yeah uh andrew have you been doing any music related work recently um i've done a few vinyl reissues for uh, xcc mm -hmm. just re-artworked oranges and lemons which has just been released and we've done none such which is in production and drums and wires which is in production as well um uh they're there are a couple of uh, other projects for Andy that are sort of on the on the horizon in the uh, you know in the near future. So um, yeah, hopefully they'll uh, they'll kick off very soon, which will be nice. Awesome. Um, so if anybody's got, a, a, we can probably get a question or two in if anybody's if anybody's quick. But uh, in the next couple of minutes, we're going to need to. Um, to, to move on much as I do not want to because that is just it is just stunning um and um you know uh when you sort of start out with that sort of like this it's almost when you're doing the outline it's almost sort of there's that sort of a cartoonish element and then just the detail comes in and it's just gobsmacking um you know and, and you're using sort of circular shapes but it's like when we're obviously looking at it from quite a distance and so the overall effect is something that just looks if, quite realistic <laughs> um so uh stephen sutcliffe saying no and Kylos, uh so uh, pachycephalosaurus is his family favorite um or uh it's actually our fa he says our favorite so i'm going to assume his family favorite and we have dinosaurs in the cupboards to guard the sweet corn and beans as placed by my five-year-old well if i was going to guard anything i would probably use a dinosaur so <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, Andrew, it's been great to have you. And if, uh, if you'd like to do another session like this with your drawing, uh, I think it's going to be something that, that people enjoy. Um, and, um, and, and we'd be happy to, to, to be part of that if you wanted us to be, um, and, uh, and stuff, but, uh, obviously you've got your store. I've put it in the comments. I'll do it. I'll do it once more. Uh, it's andrewswainson.bigcartel.com. Is that correct? 
Uh, it is for the shop. I just go to andrewswainson.com. Or andrewswainson.com. I can put that one as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, I uh, I thank you once again. and um, Thank you very much. And I'll speak Thanks. to you soon. And we'll, we'll take a look. Uh, presumably you're going to finish this piece because you, you've finished, so you'll start. You've started, so you'll finish. Um, yes, yes. So, uh, but uh, we'll... Um, We'll uh, share um, this stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll share your, your final piece and we'll look at, if I don't offer him an, a copious copious amounts of cash um, to, to buy it, then we'll see if we can do something that, um, you know, that allows people to have a go. Um, I've got someone saying Labus, Gareth, so I've got a Lithuanian watching. That's, uh, that's, that's because of my girlfriend's Lithuanian. Okay, so uh, Labus, uh, Labus, Labus. Uh. Anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, we've, in about 15 minutes, you'll see um, we, have a, uh, we have Pete Diamond, Peter Diamond, as he's known as an artist, Pete Diamond, as he's known socially. And uh, he's going to be giving us a tour of his studio, showing us sketches from his uh, latest posters. Um, and and uh, that's going to be really interesting. So, yeah, please come back and, and see it. on uh, uh, If you uh, our socials, our Facebook, uh, Instagram and Twitter, all Amp Jam Con, A-M-P-J-A-M-C-O-N. Andrew, thank you so much. No, thank you, and thanks for thanks for the weekend. It's been really good. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we'll see you soon, guys. And um, and yeah, 